Being the youngest of 12 children, George Barr enlisted as a soldier in the Canadian military when he was only 17. He admits he lied about his age to get in. He said he did it because he wasn't going to let his brothers, who were also in the military, leave him behind. I remember being inspected in Calgary by a, an old general and he said, uh, my boy, are you going to stay in the service? And I said, uh, I hadn't really given it a great deal of thought. He said, stay in, you'll do well. And uh, sort of 30, 35 years later, I became a civilian. After basic training, he went to fight in the Second World War, but an injury sent him back to Canada, where he became an instructor for cadets. But with very little notice or incentive needed, he went back into the fray, this time to Korea. A major walked into my classroom one day and he said, uh, do you want to go to Korea bar? And I said, uh, yes, sir. And he said, good, report to me tomorrow morning. We did our training, we picked up our tanks in Pusan, and uh, Sort of three days later, we were heading north. Basically, our job as tankers was uh, in support of infantry, close fire support. We only lost one from the squadron. Uh, we had a couple of wounded. But I got to know a lot of the infantiers that uh, didn't make it. In the military, when you have a friend, you have a friend for life. You don't like to lose anybody, but uh, that happens. He held his head high fighting for the rights of his fellow Canadians, and he still does, helping to make sure those lost and wounded in the Korean War are always recognized. It took a lot of work on behalf of the Korea Veterans Association uh, to get the recognition that uh, we feel we deserve. I mean, we had uh, 512 people, 514 people killed over there. Um, probably, 1,200 wounded, etc. How can you say it's a forgotten war? In his well-deserved retirement, George dedicates himself to the service of other veterans, including carrying on their memory. This past July, George went back to Korea for the first time since the war, with memories of what was and pride for what now is. When I saw Seoul last, it was about uh, two stories high of rubble. There was one bridge across the Imjin River at that time. There are now about uh, 50. They just love the Canadians. And uh, we, we had, what, four or five, we had six ban banquets uh, with the upper crust of society, mayors, governors, etc., etc. Head table treatment. And you say to yourself, gee, I didn't, I didn't do, I didn't deserve all this, but I was just part of, I was just part of uh, a much larger organization, but uh, collectively, I, I guess we did a good job. From Kelowna, I'm Tammy Williams.